Good morning. There's still stuff on the lens. Cool. How's that? Looks better to me. Thanks for the heads up that uh, the uh, lens was uh, dirty. It's actually a filter on top, so it doesn't scratch the lens. Um, <clears throat> today I'm heading out of uh, Ehrenberg. This is Ehrenberg. Uh, badge the mechanics, rigs right there in the mirror. Uh, I'm gonna head over to the junkyard and get myself some new components. This blinker doesn't stay, see? So you press the blinker, like, yeah. Uh, also, this column shifter thing is super loose, uh, and I'm going to add cruise control to the bus. So I think individually each one of these parts is like about a hundred bucks, and I can snag the whole thing for about eighty. Also, I might be upgrading a seat finally, so let's hit the road. Also, great news: the steering stabilizer works really, really well. It's a little bit tighter. And uh, along with the shocks, it's running perfect. All right, here's a little feedback for the uh, Monroe steering stabilizer. As you guys have seen me drive in other videos, as you can see, there's a lot less chatter and a lot less shake with the steering wheel. Also, the four shocks helps immensely. stack of uh, ambulances if you can see that over there truck beds all kinds of part I'm not really sure where I need to go for my part uh, when I called yesterday it, it, they said it was already stripped off so uh, it perhaps is this part the other part looks like the uh, pick and pull so I'm gonna go inquire and uh, let you know where all my goodies are all right after tax 96 and some change they have to go and pull it out of one of the vehicles in here so that means I got about an, about an hour to kill uh, so I'm gonna stock up at the grocery store fill up some gas and uh, get ready to drive back it's been about half an hour I resupplied with some stuff still need some water still need some gas my steering column is ready all right I'm back but the steering walls in very bad condition so I just went out into the yard and uh, spotted one with a slightly better uh, steering wheel on it. I think I found a winner. This 06 ambulance. Same gray color. Nice clean steering wheel. It actually even smells good on the inside of this vehicle so blinker seems to work. This, all these do the same thing right here. Cool, we got the man Hector down here helping me out. Uh, kind of watching how he's taking, stripping it out, so you have, just have to kind of go in reverse, but I'm gonna have Badge help me out, put this thing back in there. And uh, like I said, a little bit better condition. Gray, matches a school bus, and hopefully it, it's a plug and play. This is a little bit newer bus, three years newer. Well, ambulance actually, but same front end. Hopefully it works. All right guys, mission accomplished. This is what the uh, steering column and everything looks like all put together. So, same color, a little cruise control, the blinker works, and uh, those are the, the things I think I need to screw in for the, uh, for the shifter to, to tighten up. So, interesting thing about gift cards, you can't use them at the pump here, you gotta go over and uh, talk to the dude in the thing. So, besides that, just wanna say thanks again, Jackie, for the uh, gas money. Much appreciated.
Okay, this is the fan switch that we are replacing for the rear fan, and that's gonna go in the dash. By the way, what's your favorite parts store? I always seem to end up here because, uh, I don't know, just convenient, easy. Uh, the returns are easy also. That's a big thing for me too, as you already know, Jack's returns. Um, but sometimes, you know, you get a part and it's not the right part. I have a gasket that I got at um, Napa and I'm way, I bought it in Washington and I'm way over here in California, Arizona border. I don't think I can take it back to the local Napa. I think they're all independently owned, so I don't know. Not endorsing them, but it's convenient. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Man, that was an all day event. All freaking day long. Looks like I just missed an amazing sunset out here. The desert, I'm telling you guys, the desert has the best sunsets. I don't know why. Anyways. Uh, the other day, I actually forgot to put the end of the video in, which was after I arrived here. <laughs> so, let's roll that clip, and I will say goodbye uh, for today, but that clip will start right now. Alrighty, check that out. That looks pretty good. Got myself a nice, uh, no, I don't know, additive turkey kielbasa. I know, it's pretty good. And uh, I'm over here at park next to Badge and uh, L, just hanging out. And uh, actually, we're all talking about uh, community. And uh, so that is a nice, nice thing to think about when you think about, <clears throat> you know, could I live in a vehicle? Could I travel full time? Could I, you know, uh, um, live this kind of lifestyle or? some other kind of lifestyle and I feel like it's it's a it's like human nature to want to connect with people and um, you know when you're in an apartment or a house or in the big city and you kind of keep to yourself and you do the TV thing you know in the evenings and you're indoors a lot um, you aren't really forced to like make connections especially you know if you're in a city and you like commute and you're in a bubble inside your car and yeah, I feel like humans definitely need some kind of like stimulation. Um, that's why places like New York, you know, it's like so much face-to-face -face interaction, even though it is in a big city. Kind of people come together. Um, so <laughs> we were talking about, you know, being out in the middle of nowhere and, um, you know, about you know feeling comfortable out here and whatnot. But the truth is, when you're out here. Your basic human, um, like DNA, just kind of takes over. You see somebody kind of parked out next to you. Eventually, I mean, unless you're you're very recluse, you kind of wave, you know, wave to somebody. You say hi, and and that's what I experienced over at the RTR as well. Was so many people like almost kind of craving community um, and uh, and and validation in a way. Now, that was something that Uncle Dan would always tell me too, is everyone needs to be validated. And it's true. And just like everybody needs community. So, um, yeah, it was a really interesting, really nice conversation I had. Um, today's video will be a little on the short side. And uh, that's alright. Sometimes they're long, sometimes they're short. I don't want to drown you with uh, boring stuff just to make a long video. So, um, that will be it for today. I will see you tomorrow. Me and Badge are going to uh, work on some engine stuff. Uh, he's a mechanic and uh, offered offered some help. And uh, yeah, it's uh, much, much appreciated. As you guys know, for the ones uh, who've been on the channel for a while, you've seen me get screwed over by, you know, a couple of mechanics, even though I didn't go to detail about it because I just tried to look at the bright side. But the fact was, um, yeah, this... Uh, Lewis Bus Group in Salt Lake City, man, just ripped me off. Uh, spent way too much money, so um, it's nice that people um, have offered to help. Um, money doesn't grow on trees, neither does diesel, and uh, yeah, so 
it'll be nice to, to get this thing in tip-top shape. Maybe for the next owner who has it. It's going to have some brand new shocks, a brand new heater switchy thing. Uh, some other <clears throat> some other things I uh, want to kind of fix up. And yeah, this thing's like a, like a refurbished like RV kind of, I guess. So. Anyways, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.